Hey guys, MechanicCG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 14. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the MechanicCG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, or that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the, the German Championship and the old classic um, Muscle Car Championship. And we're going to be taking the Audi TT Coupe 3.2 Quattro from 2007. I had to say all of that. It was mandatory, okay? Uh, 60,000 credits for that car, which is insane. Um, we're also going to be... Upgrading it as well to around about 500 performance points, hopefully. Um, so we're going to be pumping a massive turbocharger into it. Uh, yes, please. Can I use it now? Thank you. So we're going to put a huge turbocharger in um, and also some other stuff. Uh, we're going to make sure we've got all the intakes. I feel like we just need a normal exhaust. Chuck that in. I don't care how much they are. Um, and then jump. Oh, why have I come out there? Uh, engine upgrades. Let's have a look at this. So we can get 466, 476. I feel like we'll stick with 466 for now. Because we don't need... Oh, problem. We can't put a turbo kit in. Maybe weight reduction then. 474. 1283. Hmm. We obviously need to go for sports hards as well, I think. Hmm. Do we upgrade the engine then to this one? Oh, we forgot the sports computer. Okay, let's chuck that in. There we go. I think that's better. I've completely forgot about the sports computer. Right. Let's go to National A. We are going to the Schwarzwald League. I think that's how you say that. And we're starting off with Cape Ring, the south part. And then we're going to London and then the Nürburgring. Let's have a look. So 560 or less. We are quite far below that. We could have gone for sports mediums, though. Um, we've got an Audi Quattro 82, a 120D. Seems very good. I think an Audi TT Quattro seems very good for that. So let's get straight into the event and see what cars we're going to up against. Cape Ring. My Xbox is uh, not Xbox. I wish it was the Xbox. The PlayStation is overheating still from the last episode, which is crazy. Oh, okay. We got some interesting cars. Fair enough. Right, let's do this. Keep what? The f Whoa, what the f I'm confused what happened then, but it seems to be working. Seems to be working, okay. <laughs> Please don't do that again to me, Polyphony. I beg. Here we go, very nice. I don't get why we had a black screen there. I feel like the overheating might have a problem. The PlayStation may be overheating a bit too much. Alright, slow down. Perfect. Let's go around there. Nice. 8.4 seconds behind so far. I am trying to catch up, but I have a feeling we may struggle. Let's go. Nice. Let's jump onto this camera view for a bit. I do love the roof camera. It's my favourite camera view out of all of them. 
I prefer a roof camera pointed down to the bonnet than a bonnet camera. The bonnet camera just seems a little bit off in like Forza and that. The signature roof camera is perfect in Gran Turismo. And it's always worked. Nice. And onto the brakes. Oh, a little bit late there. See if we can get past this BMW Z8. Why? I didn't even realize a Z8 was a thing and it looks disgusting. Let's go, come on. Grip. The four wheel drive is doing us proud. How far behind are we then? About six seconds. Oh, look how close that was to... <laughs> that was so close to six seconds. That guess was near enough perfect. Right, we can finally see the first place car. This is a little bit more difficult than... Um, before just because our car isn't quite as powerful as other cars and this is an old Beamer as well Nice. Whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, we went way too wide, way too wide, way too quick. Right, let's hope on the next race we don't get a black screen at the start. That would be very trippy. And across the line, 1 minute 27.173, and we had a 3.3 second gap from the car behind. Nice. Right. Let's move on to the next race, which is going to be London, which is very interesting because it's not a German circuit. So, yeah. That's going to be interesting. Why are we in London anyways? That doesn't make sense. The Italian one was like three Italian tracks, wasn't it? Were they all Italian tracks? Was Cote d'Azur Italian? I think it was. But we are going to London for a 1.2 mile lap per lap race. So it's going to be about 3.58, something like that. Exactly 3.58, there you go. Perfect. Uh, we've got an S3, an S4, an RS6, all from Audi. Another TT Coupe alongside us. A Quattro. Very nice. And two BMWs as well. Right, let's do this. Hopefully there's no black screen. Fingers crossed. Yes. No black screen. Whoa, I did not see that thing on the inside. I would have gone... What direction are we going? Oh, are we going where we don't see the Sanyo corner? Uh oh. I'm sad we don't have the Sanyo corner anymore. Nice. It is very nice seeing this track in the opposite direction, though, because it feels like a completely different circuit. 
Does this track also have no pit lane? Yeah, this track has no pits. Interesting. So I'm guessing endurance races are out of the question for this track. Look, there's the Sanyo sign just above us and we miss it. Come on, come on. Let me through. Oh shit. Not a great corner there. Definitely not. Coming up on the RS6 van in front of us. Right, we have two more cars ahead of us. And we have one more lap to catch them. I have a feeling we can catch one of them fairly soon. To be fair, that looks like a BMW that's been customised with a uh, spoiler. It's very nice. It's good to see, like, visual customization being put on cars that aren't our own. It's good to see that. Like, AI cars putting on spoilers on their cars. Nice. Here we go. Right, slow down. Perfect. Come on, come on. Keep the speed up, keep the speed up. Right, here's the final straight. The final straight. Oh, I didn't get skirt. I didn't get skirt, skirt. Looking very good there, though. First place. I do like a good first place finish. First place finishes are always very good. Very nice. There we go. 14,000 credits. We're at 94,000 now. We are now moving on to the Nürburgring next. And we've got 200 stars total. Star attraction. Here we go, Nurburgring. We're not quite halfway on the star amount. I think once we finish the next championship and the championship after that, I think we'll be about halfway on the star count. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay, cool. We got a beetle in this. Interesting. Right, let's do this. <laughs> we are not driving that beetle. We are driving the Audi, the Audi Quattro. Let's do this. 12 miles of racing. Oh, that's a Beetle with a spoiler. Okay. There's a huge gap between cars on this track though. And I sort of don't like that. But this race is going to take about 8 minutes to do. Stay out of my way. Nice. Let's go. Speed, speed, speed is key. Nice. Just zoom in past the Z4 there. Always slow down before this corner because it catches you out. It will always catch you out. Perfect. Is this the first race we've done on the Nürburgring? 
like a full lap? I think it is. Exciting. Holy shit. That that was awesome. Two wheels there. That was sick. Here we go. Come on, slow down. Very good, very good. Very good, very nice. Oh, the lights are on. To be fair, it is six o'clock here, so... It's getting dark. Awesome, keep it moving. Keep it going. We have two more cars to overtake. I think they are spread out perfectly so that if you get a good lap, you can catch all of them. To be fair though, that car is very far ahead now. A little bit worried. Just a little bit, but a little bit worried. I can't speak. I can't speak. Nice. This is looking very good so far. Nice. Swap over to main beams, I think, because if we're having any lights, I don't want them dazzling me down the track. So, we are catching up, just not quick enough. Right, slow down. An overtake on the carousel. Wow. That is... That is skill. Ho oh, oh, ho, close. Perfect. We are catching up with the other car and we will get a little test to see um, how quick this car actually is along um, the main street. We'll get a bit of a top speed run out of this. Come on, come on, round the corner. Whoa! Bit of a drift going on as well. Nice, we're catching up with that last car. Right, let's squeeze past, squeeze past. Or just barge past. That's also an option. Nice. 
Come on, come on. How are you sticking to me? Right, coming up to the mini carousel now, which is what I would call pretty much the second to last corner. Here we go. We've got a very tight bit here. And then it's a long sweeping corner to the main straight. And now is our test of top speed. Are we gaining distance? I think we are. Very good. Here we go. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Control it, control it. Perfect. And main straight. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Finish. It was a very good time there. TT got a 8 minutes and 12 seconds in the M3 that was there. 8 minutes 15. Right, so for this next challenge, we're going to be taking the challenger that we got for getting half of the stars in this championship. And what we're going to do, we're going to put in a sports computer. We're going to put in... That performance upgrade, just call it that one. Um, not quit. Rather not, thank you. Um, we need to put in a supercharger as well, I think. Um, maybe not. Maybe supercharger's a bit over the top. Um, but I'll put in some intake tuning and a sports exhaust. Um, and then I think I'm going to jump down to tyres. We've got sports hards on already. Okay, cool. Um, body weight. Uh, these things weigh a ton, so a little bit of weight off always helps. Um, and then I want to see what custom parts we have, because if we can get a lip spoiler on the rear... Um, that's, those are generics... I mean, that's a nice generic, but it doesn't... <gasps> yes! We got a lip spoiler. Yes, please. Um, can I also go straight for this? Oh, I have to go straight back through the menu. Okay. Install that. Yes, please. I want that lip spoiler. That looks so nice. And I think I could also put some rims on as well. Because those rims could be improved. And I know exactly the set of rims I'm going for. Right, work completed for that. Now, if we jump out here and go to wheels. Here they are. Ooh. Are there any other colours for those? Like, there is these ones. Maybe we could... Uh, where have they gone? I can't find them. Oh, we got more rims, that's why, because we inched up far enough. What are they called? N key. Here we go. Oh, they look meaty. They look very nice. Let's install those. They definitely need to be bigger sized rims for this. That looks really good. That looks really good. I like that. I'm really impressed with that. Work has been completed. That black uh, lip spoiler at the back looks absolutely stunning. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we are 
Well, we're on to the last championship. Well, second to last one. We've got Willow Springs, Mazda Laguna Seca, which I'm really looking forward to, and then Matterhorn. So let's go to this one first. Um, right, let's see. Willow Springs, let's see exactly what vehicles we are going against. So we've got a GT40, we've got Camaros, uh, a Nova SS, which is a very nice car, a Barracuda, and a Cobra. Let's go. Right, we are now at Willow Springs, the fastest road in the West, as it says on the, uh, on one of the boards on the track, uh, somewhere. And we are in a really nice looking Dodge. Dodge Challenger RT with our custom lip spoiler and our really nice rims. Oh, this has a fully uh, done up interior as well. Fair enough. This makes it round corners. I have a feeling if we had the supercharger, it would be a little bit too powerful. Whoa, why are you breaking that hard? It's not necessary. There's only four gears in these cars. I forgot the muscle cars were like that. Very nice. GG to me. Listen to that engine. We definitely didn't uh, upgrade the gearbox, so uh, those cars up ahead are going to be a lot quicker than us. Holy shit, that inside tyre. I think the only chance that we have of overtaking people are um, on this section. Look at that custom wing, though. They've actually moved the Charger badge onto the wing rather than having it on the actual green part of the car. That's sick. The attention to detail in this game is ridiculous. Come on, let's try and catch up. I think I will have to uh, put on a custom transmission. Make the gear in slightly longer. from this car. Yeah, we definitely need some more um, space. And if we're driving on Matterhorn, this car's going to hit the top speed easily. The other cars are already at the other corner. Yeah, we we need more. This car does look stunning though. Polyphony have done a great job. Like, they do a great job on all their games. I haven't seen a single Gran Turismo game where I haven't enjoyed playing it. Gran Turismo 5, yes, it was a bit difficult towards the end. It was still enjoyable, nonetheless.
And I'm really looking forward to getting that PS5 and trying out um, GT Sport and GT7. Not even trying out, fit playing. Completing. Playing the entire of the game. We went off. Okay, so we didn't get first or second. But we managed to get third for our first race with this. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll take that. We will uh, make sure to upgrade the gearbox when it comes to it as well. Right, so we are here on the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca for this race. And I've made sure to add a custom transmission. Um, so we've got five gears uh, and the maximum speed for this car should now be 180 and bearing in mind we've got a lot of power it should be easy to hit um, so we're going up against a Corvette Stingray a GT350 R from 1965 which is awesome uh, we've got a Cuda Plymouth Cuda um, and we are going to be driving in total around about eight miles Right, we are here with the Charger RT. We've got our upgraded... Go! Oh, what are you doing? We have our five gears as well. Oh, look at that GT50. GT350, sorry. That engine sounds amazing. It sounds horrible from here though. It sounds a bit whiny. Perfect. I think we actually need to extend the gears out a little bit more. Because it said the uh, predicted top speed would have been 180 miles an hour. I highly doubt it. Bearing in mind, I'm in fourth gear and I'm nowhere near 100. Perfect. Right, let's slow down to second for this corner. Very good. That supercharger though, I haven't even fitted the supercharger. And the supercharger in this car is just a whiny bitch. We do have a carbon prop shaft in here and a um, triple clutch setup. Triple plate clutch setup. Right, come on, let's catch up. Obviously, the cars in front is like the GT40, so... That is totally how you're supposed to take that corner. I don't care though, because it's caught me up towards the cars now. Come on, come on. We catch up with the GT40s. 
I don't even know what the car in first place is, but I know the car in front of me is a GT40. Or it must be, because no other car looks like that. There you go, see? GT40. And we overtook it. Ah, oh, the car in front's a Cobra. Those cars are very powerful. Come on, come on. We gotta catch up. I did catch up, but he didn't get out of the way. That would literally be the world's most expensive crash. Come on, come on. Do you know what? Fuck it. We're doing it again. Woo! That is style. <laughs> Only you will see me skip the corkscrew in such a stylish way. You don't get penalized for it in this game. Though, I probably will end up going into a game like Project Cars and doing that and getting like a 10 lap penalty. Here we go. Across the line, finish. Ah, oh, poor cone. Why did my AI car just run over the cone? Poor thing. Look at that though. Nice, bright green. Couldn't be a worse color that I picked if I tried. All right, but that is that done. On to the final one, which I think is Matterhorn. And it's going to be the same layout as the electric cars one, where we have the Prius. Um, yes, let's do this. I do like Matterhorn, though. It's a very nice track, but it's very uphill. Um, and I have a feeling this car is going to struggle with the uphill section. Um, because the car is mostly made of steel. So, problem. Um, traction control can go down to three. I think for this one.
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.